what's the connection between bantering and building boundaries? When you banter, you give the boundaries flush. Give the boundaries flush. You actually feel out how far you can go. You feel ah. out when you went too far, and you feel out when you didn't go far enough. Because if you don't go far okay. enough, it's not funny. It's not risky. There's no life in the banter. There's no life in the banter. You have to be in okay. that sweet spot of trickster, of trickster. Because it's not just you. If you're meeting a new person, you're trying to play a trick. If the trick is too embarrassing, you've gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> you have yes. to slowly build up for that person's capacity. Is bantering a way of playing the edge? You could frame it that way, yeah. Just like music, if you can play it safe or you can play at the edge of your skill. Yes. Or you can jump too far and you break something. So you <laughs> Yeah, right. So that's right. You could try playing a piece too fast. If you can just about get through it, it might be exciting. But if you can't get through it, it's just, it could be just embarrassing. It could but be. But then you seen. can make that work too. If you're good at banter, you could turn that into. A, you can. You can even turn embarrassment around. You can even turn embarrassment around. Yes, that's a skill that maybe we're lacking. When you banter, you give the boundaries flush. Give the boundaries flush.